Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy your React app in Bursal. Well, the procedure is very straightforward and after watching this video I'm sure you will be able to deploy your React app in Bursal. There are three steps to remember. First, you need to have a React app. Then you are going to push that React app to any GitHub repository from where finally you are going to deploy in Bursal. So let's start with the first step. I'm going to create a React app. So I'm going to open my terminal and then I'm going to go to my documents folder. You can go to any folder and you can create a new folder where you're going to store your React app. So I'm going to use bit to create the React app. Let's use that bit react if I search it. And then I will go to the official documentation from here. I just need this line of code, just this line I need, that's all. And if I paste it, then it's going to give us some prompt here. At first, yes, I want to proceed. And then it is asking what is going to be your project name here. So let's say here e-commerce test. And then I'm going to use React. And then I'm not going to use any TypeScript here, just JavaScript. I just want to show you how to deploy. That's all. So then I'm going to move to the e-commerce test folder. That's what it is asking us to do. Here are some instruction to follow. So let's do that. CD e-commerce test. And then I'm going to install all the packages. It's going to take a little bit time here. And then we're going to open this folder in our VS code so that we can make some edit, you know, if we wish, we can make some adjustment there. So let's open this in our VS code. So there you go. We have our React app here. By the way, remember, if you want to run this React app, you have to use npm run dev. So I'm going to use this command here and I'm going to run this project that I have just created here right now. Let me open my terminal npm run dev. This is what we are supposed to do here in order to run this React app. And it will open our React app here. You will see on the screen. There you go. Now I'm going to make a little bit adjustment here. Let me go to the app.jsx. There are so many things. I'm going to remove them. And just I'm going to put, let's say, Great, and you can see the output here immediately. I'm going to change the designing, whatever they have here. I'm not bothered about the designing. And there you go. This is a simple React app we have here. And now that we have completed our first step, we can move to the next one. We need to push this React app to any GitHub repository. So uh, at first you need to sign into your GitHub repository. Then you can open a new repository here. You can give any name here. Let's say e-commerce e-commerce test Bursal. I'm just giving it my own name. Don't worry about the naming. You can give anything. I'll just keep e-commerce test, whatever. And then I'm going to create the repository as a public and then create repository. It's going to take a little bit time. There you go. We have our repository created here. And now I need to add that repository here. I need to make the connection. So at first I need to initialize the git here in this repository and then I'm going to add all the changes that I made in this app react app locally and then I'm going to make a commit here git commit I'll leave a message let's say initial commit great and that's all in the local repository now it's time to connect with the remote one so I'm going to use this one so I will push all the existing changes that I have in my local repository with these three commands I can copy and then I can paste it here there you go. And if it shows successful here, all the codes should be here by now. Let's check this one out. There you go. You can see all the codes they are here. So we have also completed the second step. Now the final and simple step, we need to go to our Bursal account from where we are going to use this GitHub repository. So let's go to the Bursal account. I have already logged in. Of course, you need to log in and then you will click here, add new project and then it will ask you from where you want to import the project so i'm going to use a git repository and it shows the e-commerce test just now that i created so i'm going to import that one here but one thing you have to remember here when you are deploying your react app only one thing you remember just framework here it's going to show you by default what framework you are using you can see that when i created the react app i have used bit that's why it shows here bit if you are using any other framework it will show that framework so framework is not the issue here you have to add the environment variables that's the main thing to do here 
so the environment variable is going to be node option and then here as a value you have to add hyphen hyphen open small case by the way so open SSL hyphen legacy and then finally provider provider so remember this has to be your environment variables value here node option is the name of the environment variable and then you have to provide hyphen hyphen open SSL legacy and hyphen provider that's what you need to do here and then I need to add this environment variable and let's just deploy that's all if everything goes right then our app will be deployed and we'll have a link that we can share with others so let's just wait for a few seconds still you can see it's building the app and there you go it shows congratulations you just deployed a new project to Bursal and now if we click here and then it will show that our react app has deployed and you can just copy and you can share this link with anybody if you wish this is your react app that you have deployed just now so congratulations by the way now if you make any changes your react app for an example this is where you're working and you have just deployed so let's say you have added a few more things here i'll just change this one let's say i will add one more heading and let me close this div by the way and there you go let me add one heading let's say welcome to the react world and then i'm going to add a few more things here my name is anisol or just i'm going to just put some dummy value that's all so you can see that i made some changes and now what we have to do here we do not need to redeploy anything we just need to push these changes that we made to our GitHub repository. And from GitHub repository, your Vercel already know what are the changes you made. So it will, you know, automatically update everything there. So let's push these changes to the GitHub repository. So again, I have to add all the changes. I have to add a commit here. Let me add a commit. I'm going to give the name of the commit. Let's a second commit. So second commit and sorry about my spelling mistake if i'm making any then git push that's all now let me go back to the Bursal again or first maybe i can go to the github repository and if i reload this one you will see the new changes has been applied so you can see that second commit now which is good so we know that our github repository has been updated now let's go to the Bursal and let's check what is happening in the Bursal. so here i'm in the Bursal, and if i go to the dashboard again and there should be some message like right now you can see the second commit so we have the updated commit and you can see the update is already there if i just uh, reload it you'll see the update here welcome to the react world anisul islam so i hope this video was helpful and you really understand how to deploy your front end to Bursal.